Hi there. Today I'd like to show you how to calculate the odds of winning Canadian 649 Lotto. And it's called 649 Lotto because you've got to pick six numbers from 49. And then to win then, you've got to match all six numbers to the six numbers that are drawn. So I'm going to show you how to calculate the odds of, of winning 649 Lotto and matching all six numbers. And what I've done here is I've made this uh, sort of a template coupon. Um, and I'm going to mark off six numbers on it just to sort of help you, hopefully help you understand how the odds are calculated. So the first step is I'm going to randomly, randomly select uh, six numbers from this coupon and I might take two and let's say 10, uh, maybe 20 and say 27 is the fourth number I'm going to select. And then I might have 30 and 36. So I've, um, I've selected there one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. So these are your six numbers from 49 then, and you're watching the draw. And if you think about it, uh, when you're watching the draw, when the first number's drawn, then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six chances from 49 of matching the uh, the first number that's drawn. So there's 49 numbers uh, or 49 balls in the um, in the barrel and you've got one, two, three, four, five, you've got six chances then of matching uh, one of those numbers with the uh, the first number that's drawn. So I write that down, so six chances in 49 of uh, matching the first number that's drawn and then to show that uh, one of those numbers have matched then I'll just randomly randomly circle one of those numbers to show that I have um, I have actually matched that number with uh, with one of the numbers that was drawn or with the first number that was drawn now when the second number's drawn then you're left with five chances one two three four five you've got five chances then of matching matching the the second number that's drawn but now because one number's already come out of the barrel there's only 48 numbers or 48 balls left in the barrel so you've got five chances then in 48 in 48 five chances in 48 of matching the second number that's drawn and then I randomly uh, circle one of those numbers with my red felt tip pen to show that you you've actually matched that um, that second number that was drawn or number 10 matched the second number that was drawn and now when the third number is drawn then you've left with one two three you've got four chances now of matching four chances of matching the third number that was drawn and now um, because two numbers have already come out of the barrel one two one two then you're left with 47 numbers or 47 balls in the in the barrel. So to match the third number that's drawn, you're left with, um, well, you've, the odds are four chances in 47. And I'll randomly mark off uh, one of those those numbers to show that that's, that number's matched. Um, when the fourth number's, fourth number's drawn, one, two, three chances now. Three, ch three chances in 46, because there's 46 uh, numbers, 46 balls left in the barrel. So you've got three chances in 46 of matching uh, the fourth number that, that's drawn. And the fifth number, you're left with one, two chances in 45 of matching the, uh, the fifth number that's drawn, because... Um, uh, there's one, two on the board, and then four balls have already been drawn from the barrel, so it's two chances in 45. There's 45 balls left in the barrel, and I'll randomly, so I'll just randomly mark off uh, one of those uh, last two numbers to show that's been matched. And then when the final ball is drawn, then you're left with one chance in 44 of matching the final number that's drawn. You've got one, 
one unmarked number on your coupon and there was uh, five numbers have already been drawn so there's 44 numbers uh, left or 44 balls left in the barrel and I'll mark off that uh, final number and then and that's the odds then so to actually make more sense of that odds um, we're going to multiply that those odds out so to do that then we'll multiply the top row first six times five times four times three times two times one and i put those into my calculator six times five times four times three times two times one equals 720 yep and i'll put a line and then uh, and then the next step is to multiply out the bottom row 49 times 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 44 and 49 times 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 44 equals that astronomical number of 10 billion and 68 million 347,520 so therefore therefore the odds in of matching six numbers from 49 um, and winning Canadian Lotto is 720 chances in 10 billion odd so to simplify that number then we'll, we'll make it as one chance in something or other so to do that then we just take the the 10 billion number and divide it by 720 to simplify that fraction because all we're really doing then is dividing each side of the fraction or each half of the fraction by 720 and obviously 720 divided by 720 is 1 and then the 10 billion divided by 720 is divide that by 720 and it's one chance in 13 million 983,816 and if you like you can express that as one one chance in uh, 13 million nine hundred eighty three thousand eight hundred and sixteen as your final answer so there we go the uh, the odds then of matching uh, six numbers from 49 um, and winning in one game playing just one game in Canadian 649 lotto uh, one chance in 13 million nine hundred eighty three thousand eight hundred and 16 and I've printed out this sheet from the uh, Canadian Lotto website and hopefully you can see there that to match the six numbers in Canadian six six out of 49 Lotto is one chance in 13 million nine hundred eighty three thousand eight hundred sixteen which is what I've calculated on this sheet okay so there we go i hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching and goodbye for now